and welcome to a brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be making this day to night sky transition sort of a uh, thing here. And watch this. We go from this to this. Now you might be asking yourself, dude, that's just one click. How is that so easy? Well, that's why I'm making this day to night uh, easy tutorial. It's so easy. Okay. Now. What I want to show you today is this, and I want to tell you where I got this footage and why I did it. Um, it was going to be in my short film that I am going to announce soon, and probably when this video comes out, maybe I will already have announced it over my Instagram, uh, which is Tony underscore E underscore King 21, I think. Oh gosh, I need to look at that. But um, regardless, um, it did not make the final cut. So I was going to wait until after I released the movie in late April to actually make this tutorial, but since it didn't make the final cut, although it was one of the best shots, um, I just uh, didn't. I just decided to make this tutorial now. By the way, that Instagram is Tony underscore E underscore King, so if you do want to follow me there, just do that. If you want to, I just post about my videos pretty much. But, if you don't want to follow me on Instagram to know about my videos, just subscribe. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, this effect in action. Alright, and there you go. So, this is going to be super easy. It's pretty much one click. So, now, as you can see here, I have this footage right here. And I did, um, here, let me just solo this real quick. So, when you film for day to night, make sure it's an overcast day. Sort of like this. Sort of like this. Like, here's the original footage. All I did was, I made it a little bit brighter. Um, so that, and then I sort of toned it down. I made it so that it's actually white. The sky has to be perfectly white. It doesn't have to be perfectly white, but you want it to be really white. Also, um, that is also for the color of the shot. Uh, also for the actual effect. But also so that there's no shadows because, well, yeah, there's a moon, but... I mean, there's not going to be a lot of shadows during the nighttime, so we don't want to worry about having to mess with the shadows themselves. So, here, here's when it gets super easy. So, if we make our uh, background here. Let me just go into here. And now you're seeing, it's super dark. What happened? So, we have the same footage as we have in our main comp here on the bottom, but... We put it on top. What do we put on the bottom? We put our night sky. Now mine's custom. And I will be showing you how I made this night sky after this. Okay, so as you can see here, the blend mode is classic color burn. And that is it. That is all you have to do. Here, I'm on normal. And here, I'm on classic color burn. And as you can see, it takes out pretty much all the white and makes the rest black. Um... And that's all you need to do for this effect. Isn't that incredible? I think it's pretty incredible. So, next, you pre-compose those layers or have them in a comp. I called mine Dark 1. I, there is a second one, so uh, I don't know why I called it Dark 1. But what you do here is you turn down the opacity. So, for a real thing, I'd probably make it up to 90. But that's a bit dark if you don't have your brightness all the way up. So, you know what? I just... Put it to 84, I think I had it, 84. There you go. Looks, uh, the moon isn't that big where I live, okay? So, it, the sky would not look like this. But, the effect is really neat. And, it was going to look really good in the movie. So, I'm sort of uh, sad that it didn't make the final cut. But yeah, wow. That pretty much took two clicks. The click to go... To hit mode and classic color burn, well actually a couple clicks actually more because you have to turn down the opacity, but it wasn't that so easy, I think that was so easy. So now, you can stop watching now if you want to, uh, because the next part is just going to be making the night sky, but if you do stop watching now, make sure you like this video because that was incredibly easy, right? And uh, make sure to subscribe for more. Um, but yeah, okay, so um, I do appreciate it if you just subscribe by the way. <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's go into my night sky comp. And as you can see here, it's just the sky. So, I actually have a couple layers that I did not end up using, so I'm just going to delete them. So, what do we have here? Let's start at the bottom. A black solid. That 
that's quite incredible in itself. Um, the fact is that this is actually all super easy, unlike those other uh, Day to Night tutorials that you see that are all about weird color correction. No, uh, we can do a color correction and all that, but why do that when you can do classic color burn or just color burn would probably work in itself. Let's see. Uh, let me turn all these on. Let me go just see that. I'm just super hyped today. Wow, that one works too. So the color burn is what it does. It takes out all the color and replaces white, which is incredible for this effect. And uh, you don't have to do all this crazy. Um, it's, this is actually sky replacement as well. Oh my gosh. This is sky replacement. Well, I should have said at the, at the start. Now half the people watching aren't even watching anymore. Okay, so sky replacement as well for with classic color burn works excellent especially with the white sky actually pretty much only with the white sky uh with the overcast sky so uh that's a key part of actually selling or well making this effect to begin with so where was i okay so then i added sort of a, a blue haze here uh with this dark blue solid basically all i did was gradient ramp and i one of them is dark blue and then i repositioned um one of the points down to here and the other right here so that it's mostly black but this is sort of like just a blue hue sort of thing that I thought looked pretty nice. So then what do we have? We have our nebula. What did I do with the nebula? Well, this is a pre-comp. So let's open this pre-comp and let's see. I have fractal noise. And as you can see, this is incredibly too complicated. I made a bunch of masks here and then I did fractal noise basic. And then I changed the scale on a lot of things. And then at the bottom, I tinted it black matte black to blue because it was originally uh well see let's see without it uh without this too as you can see here it's sort of this gray thing so i make the underlying colors i guess a blue and then i duplicated that made it a bit wider uh and then i masked the edges with this, with these other masks that are set to subtract and i mapped uh black well map map black to black but map white to to uh purple and uh actually it's map white to this cyanish color not matte black to that color sorry i misspoke okay let's go back into here now we have um all of this but where are our stars so here's how i make my stars all the time and i i've done this more than once cc snowfall be, you might be thinking well snow falls well not if you tell it not to okay so here, as you can see, my only effect here is the snowfall. I'm hitting you a bunch of times, and you have snowfall. I didn't have to time freeze anything. Okay, so you got wind, zero, speed, zero, which makes it stand still. Variation of wind, variation of speed, zero as well. Seam depth. See, stars, they go on forever. So that's why I have 30, 13,500. And then the variation size, 25, because some are closer as well. So, and some are bigger than others, of course. Um, so that's 25. Size is generally 15. Flakes is 10,000. If you want an incredible amount of stars, you can go all the way to 41,800. And if you want just a couple, go down to 6,000. All right. So that is how I made the stars. Uh, the spread is just 15. You can mess around with all these, um, with all these things just to make... To make it look like your own. And the cool thing about this. Is that you're not going to get the same thing ever. So basically. If I spread it like this. If I spread it 18.8. .8, see it's already different. Um, or just a little bit. But um, <laughs> um, you know. You're you're just going to get different effects. So when you do it like this. You're not going to get the same thing the whole time. So then what I wanted to do. Was add the moon. So here's my moon. Bam. Let's go into this moon comp to check it out. So what do I have here? I have a JPEG of the moon. And what did I do to make it um, a half moon? Because it's originally a full moon. Bam. What did I do here? I made a circular mask in this square comp. And then I moved it to the side and feathered it out. Let me tell you how much I feathered it out. I'm very enthusiastic about this. 375 mask feather. And that's what sells the effect. And then what did I do? I added an adjustment layer with no effects. So... I should probably just delete that. And why is it pre-comped? Uh, it looks better anyways. Um, and now, it's just a moon. There's no glow to this moon. Now, I can tell you, the moon where I live is definitely not that big. 
but it does glow quite a lot. So what did I do here? I added a, a new solid with the Saber effect from Video Copilot. That's the only third party plugin you need and it's free. Oh, by the way, on the stars, make that uh, the blend mode to screen, by the way, so that you can see everything behind it. I should have said that before, but I forgot to. Sorry. Um, moon glow. Then you, then I made this comp here, um, on the outside, on the very inside. I mean, of this, of the moon, so that you can't actually see, um, the actual effects. And then glow color white, glow intensity. That's what I turned up. And the uh, preset is just the default. So, boosh. Oh gosh, I clicked the wrong thing. There you go. Boosh. Let me do that again. Boosh. Moon glow. Incredible. And now, boosh. There you go. If you don't want a moon, boosh. If you just want, if you just want the sky, ooh, that's killer. Okay, what if you don't want the glow? There you go. That looks pretty fake. Now, with the glow, so much better. But I do think it looks a little bit better when it's 90 opacity because everything is darker. And so you could you could go on more and say, oh, I want to make the, sh the whole shot a bit dark and look like this. But why would you want it to look like that? That looks terrible. So, bam, I just taught you how to make a night sky, sky replacement, and day to night. All in like that. The first five minutes was, I don't even know. That was probably like 20 minutes knowing how long I'd make these. But uh, yeah, I hope I hope you find this as easy as I thought it was when I was first making this because um, I had originally watched an actual tutorial. See, even me, who makes tutorials, had to watch a tutorial on nights on uh, day to night. But you know, I I didn't think I wanted to go through the whole process process of doing all this color correction nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's it's a lot of work. See, I because I was focusing on. I had a lot of things to edit in not very long time, so I was just messing around, and I figured it out without a tutorial, and that's what I encourage you to do. Just mess around, and you can definitely figure it out like I did, and um, yeah, I hope this is, I hope you find some time to use this. I hope this is as easy as it gets. I hope I totally saved your project and the day because I'm a superhero. I'm not actually a superhero. I'm just weird white guy. If you've seen those videos, um, but but uh, yeah, I I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, I've I've said that like seven times. Um, if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content coming out soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, make sure you like this video just so I know you do like it. And comment down below any requests you have for a more easy stuff that you may not have known. Okay, so yeah. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.